Well, welcome back to Subnautica. I am your humble host, Seems Asunder, and this should be the full release of the game, finally, after like three years of development, which I have been playing it for probably one or one and a half of that, so I'm not new to this game, but the newest stuff, I, I haven't played it in a while, so there's going to be quite a bit that's that's new to me. But because I'm a veteran, I just started up the game in a hardcore mode. So I will only have one life Attention. through this playthrough. Abandon I'm abandoning ship. Hi. Bye. Oh. Yeah. Goodbye, ship. So, it looks good so far. It looks the same so far. I believe I'm about to get a headache. Yep. There's the headache. So, uh, yes, hardcore mode, I believe, is uh, one life. So, you can't really save. You can save and quit, I think. But you can't save your game really because if you die you're dead and it never warns you if you're running low on oxygen And I believe that's really the only changes. I don't remember the last time I died in this game anyway So I'm just gonna play it on this for, for a little extra Fright in the, in the terrible ocean that I will now reside Yeah, let's start this thing up Tapping always helps for electronics. If it doesn't run just tap on it. Oh, dear. Uh... You have suffered minor head trauma. Nah. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Good luck. You're stranded on an alien planet with head trauma. Thank you. That is very helpful. So, I got some stuff. I never use the flares. I really don't know why they keep those in there. I usually keep a nutrient block and a water always in my life pod, just, um, you know, in case I'm, I'm in a terrible bind and I forgot about food or something and I need it for emergencies. So, can't use the radio yet. Let's take it out. Fishies. Probably should have gone up first, not just straight into the ocean. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Zero human life signs detected. That means there are other things living there. Let's go up here and check out the view. Whole lot of nothing but water. And of course, the wreckage of what was my transportation, my home, my my life, my work, my everything that is now burning in the endless ocean. Sounds about right. Well, then let's uh, let's get going. Okay, so I have zero tools, zero food, and uh, apparently I was hungry when the thing went down because I'm only at like half stomach. Or whatever that is. Half apple. And apparently I started right next to this geyser. Which is a blessing and a curse. Because, I mean, I can use the geyser for thermal power once I get the thermal generator. But, um, that's going to be a bit. And I am so slow without fins. I forgot how slow I am. And I didn't think it was going to tell me oxygen. Maybe it's just the, the small warning that I don't get. Where's all the titanium chunks? I need those. There's a beacon fragment that I can't scan. So I'm not sure how much of this game I'm going to, to skip. I'm going to try not to skip too much because, you know, I do need to... It is new stuff, and uh, for those of you who have not played this game before, I'm sure you'd be interested in seeing the new, or, well, everything, really. But because I have done other videos on this playing through most of the game, um, 
I'm probably going to skip some of the the stuff that was already in the game and just kind of speed to at least where I was in my other playthrough and uh, do that. Unless, of course, I uh, ignore the oxygen meter and end up dying, or at least almost dying, or anything like that. And I'll leave that in and you can see how I, how I royally screw up everything. Even worse than being stranded on an alien planet. I can now have food and a little titanium, so that'll get me started. While disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. I wanted to eat those internal organs. I'm always leaving the best parts out. Acquired. Hello, beeper. It's still warning me of oxygen, so... I mean, I know I clicked on hardcore mode. If I pause it, I can't save. Um, so I guess the whole oxygen warning thing was, uh was just a whole lie, which is unfortunate because I was looking forward to it not um, telling me every few seconds that I need oxygen because I can get a little annoying. Bins, finally. So, first things first, get a scanner, then get a repair tool. Time to go find some cave sulfur and get myself blown to bits. Scanning myself. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. It's so dark and scary here and full of exploding fish. Hopefully. I haven't found any yet. That's what I'm looking for. Got some gold and silver though. That, that's always useful. I always seem to have problems actually finding cave sulfur. Like you find a million of those crash fish when you actually don't want them to explode on you. But then when you're looking for them, they're nowhere to be found. Because that's just how it is. Hello, Bieber. There you are. Cave Sulfur. I think I might need two of those. Alright, I should have enough to make the basic repair tool now. Uh, there we go. And I can cook myself some Gary fish for while I wait. That's so motivational. You can eat carcasses too. Mmm, Gary carcass. They're right, it was pretty tasty. Alright, so now I have the repair tool. Oh, where'd it go? There it go. So, I can repair. It's a radio now. Funny that that thing works before I actually return power to my life pod. I guess that's a good thing. It has its own little little power, emergency radio, and all that. All right, what we got here? This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. That's too many hours. And now that I got some glass, I believe I can make... So I unequip the oxygen, I can make a bigger one. Which will be helpful. I think it slows me down a little, but air is more useful than speed. They did a good job with the new models of that. It used to look basically the same or didn't have a model one of those I don't remember a lot of the things didn't have a model but everything looks polished and nice now there's a couple scannable things making progress because everyone needs a trash can before they need you know oxygen or basic tools or anything like that uh, didn't give me a notification for scanning that grab trap I hope that actually worked to make a rebreather now apparently. Yeah, it worked. It just didn't tell me. I'm gonna actually make a grav trap. I usually don't, but uh, for catching fish, I think it'll be pretty useful. So I'm gonna try it out. Something different. 
only really need to catch fish in the beginning of the game anyway, so um, if I'm going to make it, I might as well make it now rather than when I don't even need it. I don't like that it's so large. It takes up some inventory, which is at a premium, definitely, in these games. Uh, I'm pretty well set up, though. I got I got a good you know, reserve of food and water, uh, some basic tools out of the way. I just need to start hunting recipes and... Uh, Start start making a ship. It's catching everything. That is very useful. Let's take, break, and take, take all of the food. Very useful. There's one sea moth fragment. It has begun. I hear you, stalker. There's another one. Passing 100 meters. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. He did not bite me though. He tried, but he failed. Hello, floaters. You know, last time uh, I played this game, there was a bit of a glitch where if, if I even got near any of the floaters, they'd just immediately let go of their rock and just fly up there to the surface where they die. At least I assume they die up there. Reginalds are my favorite fish. One, because they're purple and awesome, and two, because they're extremely nutritious and fairly slow, so they're easy to catch. And yeah, I scan like everything, even the tiger plant. Oh, <laughs> I was swimming to the surface and suddenly I just stopped, and I'm like, hmm, why is that? I ran into one of these guys. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. And biters are after me. Keep moving and they won't get you. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I know, but I got a lot of tank space. Really, there's nothing else to scan? That's disappointing. There's the Seamoth thing. There we go. I still need the mobile vehicle bay, but at least I can make that. This game is so pretty. Got the god rays in it, making it look awesome. Nice sunrise, sunrise, sunset. Oh, is that one sun? Two? Probably one. And that's got a bunch of moons, like that. Ew, message. Receiving pre recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, it's nice that they're all fully voiced now. That should um, add some nice immersion to the game. I hate it when it's nighttime. Can never have too much water. Number one rule of this game. Never too much water. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. I think it definitely will. There's no may about it. Berries are always the difficult ones. Trying not to be scanned, trying to evade being eaten. They're just, they're just a pain to work with. Never enough water. Consider disguising the flavor unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices yeah or I could just eat them like they are mm. I have 101 health if only that was true in real life guess I get the cutscene for this one going out the top epic music you're doomed. That's what it's saying. Alright, let's go check out that life bot and see if we can get a um, blueprint for that sea glide. Don't swim over the thermal vent. Lesson learned a long time ago not to do that. But I can swim through tubes if they're not too small. Perfect. There it is. Hello. With that. A compass. That's useful. New blueprint acquired. 
And the crew log, which is probably the same. And there's the sea glide. So it is the same, but they have audio now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play them. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. In other words, he's screwed and he's just trying to fix something so he can feel like he's doing good things, but they're all gonna die. That's about right. Now where's that other piece of the sea glide? I need another one. Mobile vehicle bay. That's what I was looking for. You are not what I was looking for, sir. Stay away from me, please. I'll scan you, but don't bite me. You can go bite some metal somewhere. Oh, my name. There we go. They're always trying to bite me. I'm just trying to scan some seeds. Other mobile vehicle bay. Hooray. One more. And another sea glide, preferably. I've been gathering a bunch of titanium as I see it, just because I know I'll need it later on to build the sea moth and the cyclops and whatever else. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna use it eventually. Might as well pick it up and just turn it. Cause, okay, I pick up 10 of it, I turn it into one um, of an ingot, and then it doesn't take up much inventory space, and it just saves me a lot of time later. Seems better that way. Cause I, I've made everything I can right now, I still need to just find the last couple pieces of these two, and then I can make both of those, make the sea moth, and then jump over to the island and, and get going on the on the actually renewable stuff, even though I'm catching like way more fish and <laughs> everything that I can possibly eat. That grav trap really makes it uh, a very easy to catch fish. Fish. I got like four different ones cured and just waiting to be eaten. And uh, plenty of same thing with water, so I, I think I'm good there. I'm not going to make the power cell yet, even though I can. I'm waiting until I use some of the batteries of what I'm uh, currently using because you can make a power cell with dead batteries. I know, I don't know how it works either, but uh, I, I have the batteries. I'm just going to wait for the other ones to die, then replace them and use the mostly dead ones to make the power cell whenever I actually need it. And that's uh, just a little more efficient. Again, save me a little time, why not? And look at that, Reginald is 44 food just for one fish. Keepers are only 32, so go for the Reggies. Reggies are always the best. I went to LifePod 3. I still haven't gotten another message, so maybe I'm just going too fast through this. I don't know. Where's the rest of my pieces of stuff? Where'd LifePod 3 go? Oh, it's getting dark again. I really don't like the ocean in general, but the ocean in, at night is so much worse. Uh, I, I mean, I'm in the shallows right now, so I'm okay, but uh, when it, when you can't see anything as far as you can see but just empty water, and that's what really freaks me out, because you know there are other things out there, and okay, maybe the light from whatever you have can't see them, but they can see your light because they're fish, and it just, it freaks me out, so... I'm hoping not to meet that until I am well prepared with a ship to hide in and just it'll be much better that way. So I have three titanium maintenance already and some lead that I can throw in there that I also know I'll need. I would need more of that but I don't remember how much so I'm waiting for that one. I just need to find some blueprints to scan. Congratulations survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Totally. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. It knows me so well. Well, there's three stalkers here and a bunch of metal, so I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of get some stalker teeth if I can. I think I only need like three. Three enamel class, I think, for the submarine. Maybe it's five. I think it's three. 
They do seem to have changed uh, some of the costs for things, though. So, I should have scanned that first. There's another one, that's fine. Drop any more teeth for me? They seem to be very happy whenever they have metal to chew on. They don't usually go after you if, if there's metal. There's another one. I got three, but... Might as well pick up five just in case. And I might want an observatory or something later. It is so dark. I have not built a light yet, otherwise I would be using it. Like, I don't necessarily need it, but the recordings are even darker, so I know that no one will be able to see anything unless I turn on a light. It's just, I don't have a light yet. Go after the metal, not me. I know I'm stealing your teeth, but like, it's fine. You don't need them. If you needed them, you shouldn't have dropped them. What was that sound? Was that one of their teeth breaking off? Because that was that was a terrible sound effect. Oh, go away. Those guys are extremely easy to avoid, by the way, so they, they don't creep me out at all. You're about as fast as them, so as long as you're decent at maneuvering and they have a very simple AI, uh, then, yeah, don't worry about the stalkers. If you hear them, just, you know, avoid. For all those new players watching, you know, those that, that jumped aboard at the full release only because they don't play in development games. It's got to be finished before you'll touch it. Well, they don't seem to want to drop any more teeth, unfortunately. There's a laser door here, which, of course, I do not have a laser cutter yet. There might be another way in, but if it's this dark, I can't see it. So I'll have to come back in the daytime, or just wait for daytime. Go stop. I get it, you're tough. There's the seagull. Eh? Do they actually like eat the metal? Does it does it get consumed now? If they pick it up enough? Is that, okay, it's still there. Maybe it's just too dark to see. That would be a strange change. Don't go after me, just pick up the metal again. It's over it. See, your friend got it because you were busy chasing me. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Quantum detonation sounds like a bad thing. But let's just wait and see. Drop your teeth. There's one. I don't have any room now, so I gotta eat a beeper. And it is so dark. I really need to build a light. But I can make the sea glide now, which has a light, so as soon as I get like one more tooth, I'm gonna head back and make that. There's another tooth. Okay, so now I have five of them. That should be enough for now, because those are like one of the hardest things to actually farm. You gotta find a good spot like that where there's a bunch of metal and a bunch of stalkers, or at least a bunch of stalkers, and you can go drop a bunch of metal for them. But it's it's annoying to say the least to find uh, more stalker teeth but I believe the only thing they're used for is enamel glass so it's not that bad but I, you know the only thing I really need it for is the submarine I don't think I need it for a moon pool I might more lube of course now I got a new message finally oh the titanium and I already have all the stuff for the sea glide, so I'll just make that. And then replace some batteries first. I mean, the batteries are almost full anyway, but I might as well use one that's slightly less full to make the sea glide. The sea there we go. Will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Maybe. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over? No, but... Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. 
Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. You know, sometimes an SOS actually does mean that someone's in distress and needs your help. So maybe save the sass until you're sure that they don't need help. Just, a, just an idea. So I'm only gonna make three enamel glass right now because I'm not sure if I'll need more, and I might need the glass earlier. Just save me a trip. Enamel glass, and you can go in storage along with the new loo uh, until I'm ready. Then I need to get some more water. Another message, though. Another light bot. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I mean, they didn't warn you because they didn't know either. That's kind of the whole point of it did crash because they weren't prepared. So, of course, they didn't warn you, but sorry about the whole, you know, grim-looking snake thing. That, that doesn't sound great. I feel weird playing this much and uh, not saving at all. Because I feel like, what if it crashes or something and I lose all of this? Which it might do, and that, that's just uh, the downside of playing on this setting. But I hope not. I know I need a table coral for something. So I'm just looking for one more piece of the uh, mobile vehicle bay and then I can make a CMOS. Because I probably have the materials by now. Hey, you get back here. More water. Never enough water. Alright, so I do have the sea glide now, as you can see. And it does have a light, which I don't need right now, of course, because it's daytime. But whenever it is night, I will do my best to try to keep the light on. Because I know it's it's almost impossible to see anything if it's not on a recording, at least. I just need... Exactly that. I was just about to say that's what I was looking for, and that's what I found. Want some silver to boot? I'm getting lucky. I don't want lead. That guy's all green. So, mobile vehicle bay apparently is just titanium ingot, lube, and a power cell. And I think I can make a power cell. I might be short a battery now. Yeah, I'm short one battery, but I got plenty of copper, so I'll just pick up some trees and then I can make it. And then we'll see what it takes to make uh, whatever the Seamoth or... Yeah, because I don't have the Cyclops blueprint, blueprint yet. Cool. I was hoping to make that before this, but... Let's go check out an explosion. The reactor will reach a super critical state in T-10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. <laughs> Quite the spectacle that. And it's immediately like, you're going to need this radiation suit. Yeah, I should probably make that uh, right now, if I can. Just fiber mesh and lid. So they'll cut some creep vines in a second. Take one of those silicone rubbers, titanium ingot, head lube. And then I can make this power cell. And the mobile vehicle bay. And there we go. There we go. I don't have room for it though. It's because I have so much water. That's what it is. I can eat one of my peepers. What's the new message? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know how bad 
How many of you? I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a mm -hmm. bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Not a lot of faith in this guy, just saying. Think he might, you know, crash and burn, so to speak. So, it looks like I can pretty much make the sea moth as well, which is what I was planning on. I just need another power cell. So, I grabbed a couple more shrooms now that I have room in my inventory to do so. And I can craft that up. Grab another silicon rubber, which I forgot about. I did make it, I just forgot to grab it. And then I can make it. All the new messages now. That's fine, I guess. Alright, I'll listen to that first. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. Alright. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The of last what? thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. I hope not. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so that's a place to go in my new CMOTH, which I'm about to make. It is night time, but it's fine. I'll just I'll just make it anyway. In the soft irradiated glow of what was my previous home. And a, a very fancy looking moon. I say that one of most moons I see, but what can I say? That's okay. Don't drop it. Just I gotta equip it and drop it this way. Is that a better drop? Okay. Use. Oh, good. There's an animation for that now. Did I forget something? Glass and loop. Oh yeah, I had the quartz. I just didn't actually make it into glass. I'll be right back. Glass. And grab a lube. That should be on a t-shirt or something. Just grab a lube. I probably shouldn't. I would not wear that t-shirt. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay. Create a Seamoth for me, please. And don't crash the game. Okay. Safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. My glutes are fine, and no one questions my endorphin levels. It's glorious, just like I remember. Welcome aboard, Captain. And there's that voice. And it looks like it's got some graphical upgrades. I don't remember those green screens being there. So, who needs the light from a... Uh, a sea glide little handheld thing, but I can just craft my own little exploration vehicle and use that as light. So, um, I almost made this before the Aurora blew up, which was kind of my, my unspoken goal, but I still have enough materials to make, almost, uh, the, the Cyclops as well, once I go get its pieces and uh, progress right along, go get some plants, start a little little a little grow operation inside of my submarine and uh, push ahead with the game hopefully without ever dying because if I die I am totally dead we shall see but a lot of progress in this first episode it'll probably be one or two more before I'm caught up to my previous series because I didn't take it very far once I heard that they were gonna come out with the the game soon uh, many thanks for watching this video, and until next time, may your spoons remain.